Welcome to Corey's Corner, episode number nine. Today's topic, stop, question, and frisk. Boy, that is a hot button topic. Many of you out there, I know, believe that the NYPD created stop, question, and frisk because they were overzealous in their utilization of stop, question, and frisk. So much so, that a Supreme Court justice in New York State a few years ago came down with a decision and said that the way that NYPD was utilizing stop question and frisk, it was unconstitutional. Now this isn't about NYPD today. This is not about them. This is about information sharing. So let me tell you about stop question and frisk. This is actually the law of the land. It's a landmark case that came down in 1968 December. Terry versus Ohio, where the Supreme Court came down and said if a cop has reasonable suspicion that someone has committed a crime, is committing a crime, or about to commit a crime, yeah, those three factors, they can stop, question, and or frisk a person. And the frisk is just a pat down of the outer clothing only if the cop believes, I have an articulable reason to believe that the person is armed and dangerous. That's stop question and frisk in a nutshell. Not that difficult, but it seems like it's been difficult for police officers utilizing it as a tool. I think it's a great tool for policing. For example, if you told me and I was a cop, you came up to me and said, hey, that guy over there just robbed me. You will believe that I'm going to go over there, stop, question the person, and if you told me you had a weapon, that's my articulable reason to frisk. Simple example, something that cops have to use. It's a great tool, but it has to be done correctly. Reasonable suspicion that someone has committed a crime, is committing a crime, or about to commit a crime. That's exactly how they broke it down. Those three factors. And you only can do that search on an outer clothes if there's an articulable reason that the person is armed and dangerous. You heard it from me. Let's discuss. Let's talk about it. Let me get your comments. Because this is a real hot, hot button topic around America, especially in minority neighborhoods. Again, I'm Corey Pegues. You know, I always keep it right, not real. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ask Corey Pegues. Make sure you follow me on IG, CPGs9098. See you next time. Peace.